I just dance for the love of dancing. And Prince Lot has been something that my ladies and now my gents, we look forward to, to keep on this legacy of, of sharing our culture in the way of the hula. Also, it's a, a time and place that they have so many educational things to learn about our home that really helps to keep it alive and inspired. And this is, hula is, is kept alive by hula people. The practitioners, of course, but you know, it's also for people who just want to come and enjoy hula and to be able to see the old hula. So the hula I share in Kahiko are just old hula because those are kept and I try to perpetuate it as best I can to be pono, to be correct in my motion because it's like uh, Uncle George, now Ope would tell me many, many years ago, he says, you know, Kahiko, you don't touch, you don't change, you don't do any kind of fancy stuff. You keep it, it has its, you cannot veer out of that. But Awana, I don't care what you do with Awana, you can put, you stand on your head if you like. I go, okay. <laughs> and so I took it upon myself to learn these old hula because my time, I grew up in a time that you couldn't, you knew nothing about your home, nothing about hula, nothing about our heritage and history, culture, nothing. So as I grew up, then I started to see that, oh my goodness, what, what, what have I been missing? And I didn't have the opportunity because we were in that void. We grew up in a void that you didn't learn anything about our history. So now, as an adult, I started to hone in all of these wonderful things and added it to my life and Hanauna and, and Hula was it? 